Right, yes. Well, thank you for that introduction. Uh, and uh, I acknowledge uh, the Honourable John Howard, Sir Peter, uh, His Excellency Ambassador Abel, and all distinguished guests here today. And to thank you all to give, on behalf of Canberra Friends of Delhi, for the privilege of being able to give this short presentation, but it would be short. Uh, across Timor-Leste, uh, some 20 years after Interfet, there is another army, Australian army, spread across that country. That army consists, of course, of Australian volunteers who, by nature of their individual skills, talents and generosity, are continuing to strengthen the bonds between the Australian and Timorese people. In addition to the many rotary projects, uh, medical teams such as Malik Timor and the contributions made by numerous churches and schools across Australia, there is a network of Australian friendship groups linking individual Australian cities and towns with a corresponding city or town in Timor-Leste. And this is something which the uh, our Australian ambassador, uh, ambassador to Australia, Bell, has spent some time in nurturing. Our own group, the Canberra Friends of Dilly is one of these, and you can see from the map, uh, there's a list of, of, uh, of friendship groups, and on the map, th th that just gives you the locations of where these friendship groups are. The important thing to note is that they're scattered across the country. There have been up to 38 such friendship groups across Australia, the majority of which are still functioning with varying levels of activity. Some, particularly in Victoria, have had major support from local councils and municipalities, such as Stonington, the Mornington Peninsula and Ballarat. At the same time in New South Wales, councils such as Pittwater, the Greater Blue Mountains, Bega and Goulburn are also supporting active groups. Now the numbers of volunteers in these groups range from a dozen or so up to 50 members and support their activities through fundraising to support a diverse range of projects in their friendship communities respectively across Timor-Leste. Now a special book a recently released with the support of the our Australian Embassy in Dili, entitled Friends Across the Timor Sea, which outlines the history of these groups, is essential reading for anyone with a strategic interest in Timor-Leste from an Australian perspective, on the ground. Now, three key principles drive these friendships. The first is respect, supporting Timorese-led decision-making. The second is sustainable, long-term 10-year commitments, up to 10-year commitments. And third, building partnerships based on mutual respect and understanding with regular visits to Team Rees partners. I will now turn to our own local group to give you some idea of what a friendship group can do. Although in our case, because our friendship city in Dili is Dili, the, the, the Team or Leste capital itself, the scope of our particular activities can be much broader. Also, our friendship relationship is between a capital city to a capital city. And because of that, we're developing a more strategic approach to what we're doing following our civic tour and expedition to Timor-Leste just last month. We all also realise that there are interesting synergies whereby both cities have a regional local government contained within a national capital where sit the respective national parliaments. Another interesting parallel is that situated within each jurisdiction are key national institutions. For example, in Canberra, we have our National Library and the Australian War Memorial. In Dili, for example, there's the National Resistance Museum. Now, I want to briefly mention three, uh, six projects which demonstrate the range of our activities. Uh, this gives you an idea of the way we are working uh, cr across uh, a range of charitable, community and cultural activities. Now, here we go. First, cab off the rank. This is what we call our portal project, and it is strategically designed to attract widespread community support in Canberra. And so fa basically, this is a wonderful school garden. It's based on the permittal uh, system. It's uh, a permittal is an NGO which su we support, uh, which we have raised funds with the su also support of the ACT government. And this is located in the Badao Masao suburb uh, uh, within Dili. Now, importantly, this is not just a vegetable garden. This is a classroom in a garden which teaches such values as sustainability, cooking, nutrition, etc. And uh, it's, it's a wonderful thing which engages young school children. 
Uh, now, the next project is quite different. This is Camstel. Now, some of you may recall the work of the, 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 the achievement of Matt Stahl, who uh, filmed the, uh, the massacre at the Santa Cruz Cemetery. Uh, now, here, there, this is an important archive, the Centro Audiovisual Max Stahl Timor Leste. Now, uh, Canberra Friends of Dili has provided infrastructure support of this for, for a number of, of reasons. The first thing is to provide the what I call uh, uh, technology or infrastructure so that visitors there can see important detail, video detail. This, interesting, is a great historical uh, Cinesound uh, uh, movie of Australians in Timor-Leste in 1942. But also uh, a possible interest here widely in uh, the Australian War Memorial are uh, pictures of interfet troops. Now these are important uh, video uh, uh, resources which uh, uh, are undertaken by Camstel and we are developing our relationship with that organisation. Next I should mention the Ryder Cheshire uh, home at Clearbore Domen. This is an important centre for dealing with tuberculosis in Timor-Leste. It's still tragically a problem. Uh, the uh, uh, lo locations at T-Bar, which is uh, to the west of Delhi. It has a strong uh, Canberra connections with staff and Australian volunteers and personnel since the Interfet period. There's a new dental service which has just been set up there, so this is, this is coming on very well. But the Australian volunteers go through there all the time. It's an example of this continuing uh, connection uh, between Australian volunteers and key institutions in Timor-Leste. The next one is a wonderful uh, initiative. Uh, it's uh, Juvenitad by Desinvolumento Nazional, JDN at Metuat Dili. Now, this is one of the many Australian her hero heroines in Dili. There's some wonderful Australian volunteers. One of them is Jenny Lauriston. And uh, what the work she does is to coordinate young uh, uh, Timorese as Dili tourist guides with all sorts of uh, skills that go with that information technology, understanding culture, learning this. And though this is an important, these act as young ambassadors in the city. Uh, what Canberra Friends of Dili did, we donated laptops to JDN to help train their, their young people. Now our next one I'll deal with you, deal with here, are donations of rare books from the, to the Zanana Gusmao Reading Room. Now this is an important uh, uh, institution in Dili. Uh, what we do, we provide specialist books relating to history, culture of Timor, which they otherwise would not be able to obtain. Significantly, that institution is important because in terms of understanding Australia's debt of honour, it, it maintains, this is a simple thing but important, it maintains the banners which go through year by year and illustrate the debt of honour that, that uh, we had to Timorese. And any visitors to Dili, it's the best example of this. Next one and finally I'll deal with is our work with the National Library. The digitalisation of uh, rare uh, issues of Timorese uh, newspapers and magazines beginning with Avoz de Timor 1974-75. Uh, an important resource for historians and policy makers. Now in August, to, we're coming up soon, we had uh, uh, visits to the city. We met with Gaspar Suarez there. We're looking at bringing more strategic community links between the city of Canberra and the city of Dili and we're building all sorts of wider relationships and contacts to a better inform our strategic thinking. And that's uh, uh, Lisboa Adlo Gaspar, the new TL ambassador to New Zealand. So finally, to wrap up, I three key points. I commend the work of the friendship groups of the Australian East Team for All Friendship Network across Australia. We've got information about that in sheets if you'd like to pick that up in our stall. Secondly, uh, if you're interested in learning more about what we do, uh, I invite you to our cocktail party at the Timor Leste Embassy in Deakin, 6 p.m. Friday the 1st of November, where you'll see some wonderful pictures and, 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 and things, as well as raising funds for our causes. And you can see us at our stand at this symposium with pictures, information and free postcards as well. That's it. Thank you.